My research is about material and process development considering aspects from sustainability and the environment. For example, lowering the energy consumptions, lowering emissions, improving lifetime and recyclability of metals is the main focus uh, of research in my group. And uh, sustainability in metallurgy in general is a complex problem with multiple uh, boundary conditions. For example, uh, if we consider typical alloy design for a car, the design parameters are usually improving the mechanical behavior, uh, reducing weight and production cost, for example. And uh, of course, if you have a better alloy, that would lead to a better vehicle, a better engine efficiency, for example, or lower weight and lower emissions, of course. But if you don't consider sustainability explicitly as a design parameter, uh, your vehicle is better and it has better efficiency, but it might be that the alloy production itself uh, creates lots of emissions or uh, energy that you need to spend to recycle the alloy uh, would create problems for the environment. So, uh, in, in, and that might outbalance the benefit that you get from your new vehicle and improved alloy design. So that's an extra layer of complexity that is added to the material science, and material science in general has its own complexity that is a multi-scale and multi-physics problem, and with sustainability, you make it multi-dimensional as well. And here in this research group, we use different uh, methods and computational uh, tools uh, to tackle these challenges and design materials or improve, optimize the production processes to uh, reduce the environmental impact and improve the sustainability. Yeah, so we, we use uh, multiple uh, computational methods and uh, high performance computings, for example. There are many mathematical models that we uh, try to solve together at different lengths and time scales, for example, as I mentioned. And on top of that, in Max Planck Institute here, we have lots of experimentalist colleagues that they have uh, very uh, advanced uh, tools to look into the material at different scales and give us the details of uh, behavior of, of material at these scales. And it's always a, comp uh, a complementary side to the computation and simulation uh, science to have experimental data as well. There are many different uh, projects with huge impact on the environment. Currently, we focus on three main projects and three main topics that we think have a uh, really big import, uh, impact on the environment. And these are, uh, the first one is uh, green steel production. And steel is one of the biggest sources of uh, CO2 in the industry. And uh, that is partly due to the fact that the steel is produced in huge quantities and also carbon is used in reducing iron ore uh, for steel production. For example, each ton of steel creates about two tons of CO2 uh, during the production. And we try to come up with alternative methods for reducing iron, for example, using hydrogen for the reduction process to uh, completely remove the carbon from the picture and make the steel production uh, more sustainable and environmental friendly. So that's, that was the first project. The second project uh, is about hydrogen storage and hydrogen, hydrogen transport, which is also related to the first one, of course. Hydrogen is important for green material uh, production and also as a clean energy source, it's important to be able to store hydrogen or transport it. And in this project also there are many metallurgical challenges and uh, things like hydrogen embrittlement is important and we again try to understand it at different uh, scales and look into the material behavior and try to overcome these challenges uh, for hydrogen storage. And then the third project is uh, lithium ion batteries as another alternative for clean energy storage. And uh, this is again a huge uh, topic in the research community and uh, lithium ions are uh, quite important and the goal is always to increase the energy density of lithium ion batteries and increase the, increase the lifetime of the battery and these, this is again a project that involves uh, looking at the material at different scales and looking at the macrostructure of the battery, the mechanical properties, chemistry and also defect uh, in, in batteries and try to optimize these for uh, better performance.